All right, guys, so it's July 26. It's finally time for us to put out our Cuddy Link system. We have been running a couple cameras on the farm that we haven't checked yet. This will be the first time we check them uh, that are just regular cameras. But now we're putting out our Cuddy Back cameras. And in this video, I want to talk about some setup tips that we've learned. There's been one of the most asked questions that we get from people is by far about the Cuddy Back systems and how we like them, the Cuddy Link systems, I should say, and how we set them up. And so I'm gonna make a video here to answer all your questions right here, right now, and get this done with. So first off, this is the cell camera. This is what we picked up last year to make the all of our cameras link together to this one home camera. So this home camera we're setting up first here today. Um, so first things first, uh, Cuddy Back did come out with a new firmware version, which is actually, I think, leaps and bounds better. There's uh, you can specify which batteries you have, which means I think that they might have fixed the issue with batteries. So the firmware helped fix battery issues that we've seen, um, which we're gonna test out obviously. Uh, so all of ours are running the 6D uh, battery packs. So we went through, did the update, and that's gonna allow us to also be able to change settings from our computer at home through this home camera so that's huge that's a big a big change that I think is gonna have a lot of benefit that we noticed last year the biggest pain in the butt was is you were not able to uh, change any settings unless you were at the, the camera so that just kind of defeats the purpose so they listened to um, people's complaints about that and they made a fix so if you want to know how to update your cameras now you'll just go to their website and it, it's in the uh, instructions there but to set up the camera here, okay, so we, the camera's off. I have already gone through and turned the cellular plan on for this camera, which is super easy, easy to do. Um, it literally took me 30 seconds to do, which, which is why we did get this cellular system, is you can pay monthly. So now we're gonna go set up the... And you can just set it up online on their cam yep you can do it on the online so it's all set up and ready to rock so i'm just going to make sure we have the right time and date which i set last night oops time and date so this as with this new firmware it allows you it's, you set it from the home cam and the home cam will make sure everything is synced up together so the the system's leaps and bounds i think better than last year and we like last year so the second screen here is a test um, I'm not gonna really mess around with that Commands so you got batteries good. You can check the battery You hit the mode button you can clear the SD card, which we don't want to do We've already done that or we can do that. We can show you so you you hit it again, and then you hit the up button We hit the up button Yeah So now it's working. It's gonna clear this SD card Okay, so it's clear we have 16 gigabyte cameras in each card just because we're not going to come through and clear the cards until we uh, can come in after season so we run 16 gigabyte cards you can run smaller or bigger this is just what we're running the link menu so this is the menu to the whole cutty link system so all the chain here so we're gonna hit up go to confirm to go in here this is the home camera you can set it to be off home well this was a, this is the only home camera option so how this works it has to be on the other cameras you'll see that when I talk about it it's gonna be uh, home remote or off so we got that we're gonna hit the mode button again to go to the next one Lo uh, location so link location is one it's the home camera and you're gonna want to do these in a line which I'll show you here next um, they'll all link together your link info this is just telling you how many cameras are on your your chain right now, which is, this is the first one we've done, so there's only one. Your channel. Now with the new firmware update, uh, where it used to be you had 16 channels to choose from, now there's 240, so you can really be incognito. So just in the, case your neighbors are running them. Yeah, just in case your neighbors are running them, you could throw in there like a 104 or whatever, you know what I mean? So you can go through and have more options. For this reason, I'm going to set our channel, and I'm not going to tell any of you guys because <laughs> I, I don't want any of you guys to be on the same channel as us. So we're going to set this, and then we're going to go to the next. So, so once you set this, make sure you understand 
um, which make sure you remember which one you did because you got to make sure every camera is set on the right channel in order for the cameras to link up together which I'll set that here in a minute so then you hit mode again here's the cell menu so this goes through the cellular menu for this camera so the cell mode is on you can turn it off leave it on mode cell rate I'm not really exactly sure what this is new there's like different batches you can have set send so I got to play with this a little bit more all right guys, so we interrupt this video to let you know that I completely botched that whole thing right there. The cell rate is actually how many photos you want to send uh, within batches. And I got saved by the ability for us to go back through the Cuddy Link website and change this setting in order to not get one photo every single time. We were literally getting our emails filled with one photo every single time. So. We set it to 30 photos in a batch. You can send it to send all the photos it gets by the hour, um, but we chose to do 30, uh, 30 photos in a batch. Usually we'll get our pictures sent to us usually three to four different times, just depending on you know the movement and the weather. So, so just remember the CC rate means how many times you want the, the Cutty Link system to send it the photos to you. So. If you don't want, like I had it set on this video, at one, you don't want that. You're gonna get one photo sent to you all the time, every time it takes a photo, and it's just gonna be annoying, so. The cell test, you can test to see if it works. So we're gonna test it, make sure we have signal here, which is a good idea to do. Um, that way you know where you're setting your home camera, you actually still have cell service to send it back to you. So we're gonna check, this is gonna take a minute. So that's the biggest thing about the new firmware, is it allows you to change settings. Um, cause we've noticed there's some cameras that would send too often, some cameras that wouldn't send enough, mm -hmm. depending on how many photos you were getting taken. So I think the biggest good thing that's going to come out of these cameras is the fact that you can go through and change the settings as you go. So if you see one camera's battery life is dying too fast, you can tweak the settings. Yeah, that plays into battery life a lot. And you want to talk about the battery issues that you mentioned? There's no real issues. It's just battery life. So it says success here. So we have connection. So yeah, so the battery uh, issues that I'm talking about is, in the beginning we had the J series right when they came out. I'm pretty sure it's called the J series. Yeah. And they had uh, only AA battery packs at the time that were built in with the camera. And so we were running those and we learned that if you use, if you don't use lithium batteries, you only we would only get like one to two months at most of battery life. Um, and then we switched over to uh, lithium batteries because they would do better in the cold and they would last I think a couple of the cameras lasted about three months and so last year that's when we switched to the D cell battery packs which I'll show you um, and that's just their bigger battery they have more juice in them so it just allows you to in theory to run run cameras longer without having to change batteries but we actually had to change them after what was it two months three months yeah, right when the first like two and a half months two and a half months Which and it, better. it could have been it was a lot better it could have been because we had them sending more often too um so because i've heard a lot of people say that they put their d-cell battery packs on and it lasted them for like a long time mm -hmm. so we get That's quite a few pictures on our property too. Right, so. so, and we like to have more pictures sent to us. <laughs> we also have a lot of cameras, too, right. relative to our So that's another size. thing. We have, we're going to be running 12. We have 13. One of them's kind of weird with batteries, so um, we have 13 cameras, so that's partially the issue is we send it all to one home camera, so they all send. There's, there's a lot to this. So if you guys really want to go into depth in this, I could talk about this for hours. So, and cut it back. You should come on the air and yeah, talk not, with us. We don't have any affiliate. We just like them, so right. a lot of, we get a lot of questions. We've actually tried to see if they would help <laughs> do a giveaway for you guys, and I haven't heard back. So, but you'll also talk about how to optimize uh, battery settings when we get to the remote ones, right? Right. So okay, so we've got the the cell linked up here. Now we're gonna hit more again. The cell ID. Oh no, we don't need to know this. So the cell ID. This is what this is what you need to find out in order to set this up for the first time which i'm not going to get into right now well it looks like i have to figure out what the cell id is <laughs> so the cell id is essentially what you need to know for setting it up the first time since i've already done this i don't need to know my cell id so we're going to go away 
your camera ID. This is what you want to name your camera. We are very elaborate here. So this is camera one. And the good news about the new firmware is I can set this as one and we, we pin it with our Onyx maps exactly which camera is one, two to, to a 13. And then now with the new firmware, we can use our computer and type in exactly what we want. So that's pretty cool. It's another good news. So we're just gonna put this cam ID as one for now. You can do whatever you want but I'm lazy, so you wanna go hit, uh, yikes. Okay, so now you go to, <laughs> I think that's how the only reason why, the only way you can get out of it, because it's the last one. Okay, so we're gonna go to mode. <laughs> so th this is gonna be very easy because we put it on easy mode, okay? So easy mode setup, oops. There's three different options, easy mode, PT mode, which is new, I don't remember that one surge mode I think and advanced I'm an easy kind of guy so we go to easy delay so it's gonna be each location you have to decide which delay you want and that's gonna just depend on what you're what you're setting it up on so this is a an area where we might have a bachelor group of bucks a couple different deer walk through so it's on a trail so this spot I would say probably 15 seconds if you're doing um, a mineral or a field where deer are like browsing right in front of the camera set it to like a minute or so You know you might miss a few deer, but the deer is gonna be standing there the whole time eating So you don't want to just keep taking a million photos of deer like like that, so um, That's what we're gonna set it up here and then success. We're ready to rock. That's why I do easy mode Okay, yeah, we need to get through here quick. Okay, so one thing I missed is when I was setting up the the name for this camera, you gotta kinda come back through it. Your link menu, your set, cell menu. So now your cam ID is one. Your aspect ratio is kinda the, fo the photo. I'm gonna have it full. You can do wide. I'm just gonna do full. We've always ran full. Oops, full, more. Zone can be centered, kinda how you want the photo to be taken, which we're gonna stay at centered. The, the infrared mode these are infrared cameras how far do you want the infrared to go you could do set it up for a field you could set it up for close shots you could set it for far I'm gonna set it up for far because I found that usually that works pretty well for even if you're using it on trails if they are super close it kind of washes them out at night but image size 5 to 20 megapixels always set it at 20 because when it does send it will compress it a little bit. So this keeps the 20 megapixel image quality for your SD card. Your lapse, which we don't do, so it really doesn't matter. Um, and then your distance, I'm setting it to auto. So it figures out how far the distance of what you are, you're taking a photo of is and kind of compensates for it. And then the stats, just kind of like what your camera all about your camera so that's your model your firmware this is where you would update the new firmware success so we are all set up this is 100% how we set up our cameras hopefully this makes sense it's probably gonna be pretty long but from here after I get this one set up we've already got the strap to the tree we're gonna get this strap to the tree and then I'm gonna show you guys here quick how I link every camera together while making it extremely easy so let's set this up here quick um, all right guys so we got this one set up it's off right now for informational purposes but we get a lot of questions from people on you know how far do these transmit and setting them in with your setup videos how do you set them up together so we're gonna cover that here right now and it's going to be and the answer is it's situational so um, this spot here we chose this spot because it's kind of at a high point so when you put these cameras lower they don't they're not going to transmit as far um, it's just like a, a cell tower right the higher you put it up the better it's going to be you can stuck them up stick them up higher in the tree if you need to you can do whatever you want but what I found is the best thing you can do is put them on a ridge and be very strategic where you put them so that's why we put it here uh, we had a camera over there last year that worked probably 40 yards that way and the sec this camera 
is going to be set up to go um, down there in a hole. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how you know when you get a camera, your next camera, where how far you can actually go with it because it, it varies. The more vegetation that's in the trees, if you have hills, obstructions, um, anything, it's going to kind of uh, knock it back a little bit. Um, if they're on the same level in an open field, they'll transmit for a long way. So hopefully I covered that all right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go through and set the settings up exactly like we uh, talked about here. And then I'm gonna show you guys a trick to be able to understand how far you can actually go away um, from each camera to know that you're gonna have a good connection and not sit there and wonder why it's not connecting. Okay, so here's what I was talking about. So you go to our link menu on the, the remote camera and these cameras were set up to either be a home or remote, or you can have a repeater. So essentially what that means is I, I'm pretty sure it just kind of sends mm -hmm. pictures through, which I think is a waste of time. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna set it to remote. We're gonna go through, we've got it set on remote now. Link location, two. You're gonna do this with each camera. Link chain, link channel. This is where I set this without you guys seeing. Link count. So this is how many photos. I'm not exactly sure the right definition for this. We've always left it set at the recommended uh, rate that Cuddyback recommends, and that was the 250. So we're gonna leave it there. You can set it to 500 or all. I think it's kind of like how many photos do you want sent over its life. So we're just gonna do this. I'm not sure on the definition. So now you go to the link level. And this is just checking, I set it on the chain here. I set it, I got that camera armed just for the time being. So it'll step away from it. So I'm checking the link level. And what this is going to do is I'm right next to the camera. 99. So yep, so it's, it's good. So we got 99. So I do this right next to the camera because the further away you go, the more this is gonna drop. And I'll show you guys this once we get down to our next location. But this allows you that very first time you set them up, it's very stressful to know where, where's the right spot to put it. I don't know exactly. Do this right by every single camera that you just got done setting up and you're gonna have no issues getting them all linked together because you're gonna know exactly what happens. So we've got that. Now that camera's armed, I need to flip it up and we can, we can rock and boogie out of here. And that one's ready to go. I'm gonna leave this on and watch this the entire time we're going down the next camera. So this is camera three. I'm not gonna go through every single camera and show you guys everything. That's pretty much all the settings. Um, just make sure you go through and set all the cameras to the right channel. Make sure each camera you know exactly you're setting it up as uh, this one's gonna be three for instance. Our next one will be uh, location four. So uh, other than that, it's just kind of repeat over and over again. Um, but the, my biggest tip is just make sure you, you start close with uh, scanning for your link to know where you can go. And that saved us over here. So um, since we've got that, that camera set up there, it's really close. I just kind of started setting it up here and uh, we're gonna set it up and, and be ready to rock. If anybody has any more questions, uh, please feel free to put them in the comments down below. Um, we might do like a frequently asked questions that we get on the Cuddyback uh, and the Cuddy Link system. Overall, I think it's really good. We really like the system. I'll be interested to see how the battery life changes um, with this new firmware update. Uh, that's just something we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, if you guys like the video, if it helped you out in any way, if you if it helped you guys out in any way on setting this up, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and to subscribe. Let us know if it if it helped you. If it didn't, um, and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you by the next one. Mm -hmm.